Lebanon. You called this an attack. Uh, are you confident that this was an attack and not an accident? Well, it would seem like it based on the explosion. I met with some of our great generals and they just seemed to feel that it was. This was not a uh, some kind of a uh, manufacturing uh, explosion type of event. This was a uh, seems to be, according to them, they would know better than I would, but they seem to think it was a uh, attack. It was a bomb of some kind, yes. Hi guys. So now we uh, let's just take a look at this. We we know now that this was just a lot of this explosion was just uh, run. It's happened from a government that was failing. Uh, it's bankrupt. It's scrambling. Uh, they dropped the ball many times. The this this could have been prevented uh, that boat sat there for several years full of that ammonium nitrate uh, and it it was just a lot of bad decisions that ended up in tragedy but uh here's trump saying it was an attack uh going off half cocked uh it's it, these are the kind of things that we shouldn't be doing, don't you think, as the President of the United States? Uh, and, and I don't doubt that him and his generals had discussions, and someone may have said, that looks like a bomb to me, not a, a, a building exploding, you know, like a boiler or uh, a vat of chemicals or something, because there was... I, I believe it was 2,700 pounds. That was a lot of, uh, or tons, I mean, I'm sorry. That, that's a lot of, a lot of explosives in one spot. So yeah, it, it looked like a bomb because it was a f big floating bomb. But uh, without having the, the details. Uh, oh, there's my girlfriend sending me a text. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, there's, uh, there's another text. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, now I lost my train of thought, darn it. Uh, there's, with, without having the facts, should should our president be saying that it was an attack when actually it, it was an accident? Uh, actually, accident's not even the right terminology. Uh, it was mishandling of dangerous chemicals that uh, it could have been very well prevented. Uh, I was reading the whole article about that. Uh, it was just like one bad thing after the next, but it, it wasn't quick. It was over the course of years that that boat was in that in that port. That eventually something, I I haven't heard the exact cause of the ignition yet, uh, but uh, the, the the inaction by the government and the uh, port authority there. Uh, that that was the main reason the chemicals were there so long to be able to explode. And I mean, uh, wars get started over saying silly things like this. Uh, you know, these these people have a a long history with Israel. What if what if someone just because of the president's word, went went out and suck re was seeking revenge against an, an Israeli right now because he wants to go off half cocked and he just his words got one person hurt just because he had to say say stuff and and when he could have just so easily have said uh, it's too soon to to know what happened uh, uh, you know it's it's that simple if you don't know don't speculate especially on something that important and 
we all do that in our, our daily lives, or we should. You shouldn't speak out of turn and, and say some say you know something when you don't. You should just say, I don't know. I mean, that's very common sense. Uh, but not our wonderful King Trump. He has to have an answer for everything, right, wrong, let the chips fall where they may. So, what do you think about that? And would love to hear your comments below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Lots of love, everyone. Bye.